it's different. This time, the? Sandstorm's on the shell the? to go into Impala. He had to warm up the gauntlets, but he did it with the Mordex. What was the Mordex for? Why to, didn't... to warm up the gauntlets. Yeah, but like, why wouldn't you just do this? Are you just really trying to <laughs> don't, maybe Don't surprise? let him know what you're doing. Yeah, surprise Impala. Don't, don't let him know your next move. Got to keep him guessing. I'll tell you what, people are going to see this and be like, yeah, uh, Tesco's broken. We need to. Yeah. Tesco was grand finals at DreamX San Diego, most broken legend in the whole game. Well, that's all dependent on how Sandstorm performs, but right now Impala is oh. the one hitting the performance as he hits the down air, and he's so healthy. Sandstorm losing his first stock. He has like 50 damage on this first stock. He got that one in a less than 40 seconds. Had control of the weapons right after that. Here comes Sandstorm's Gauntlets. That neutral light coming out. Doing a lot of movement for going in. Nice Nair into the Ooh. side light, into the recovery. Even on Brawlhaven, not quite enough just yet. Neutral light's not gonna do it. Doesn't even put him off screen. Chase is low, but Impala comes back up. Sandstorm, what's the KO tool? It was a lot of signatures that worked earlier, but will he be able to do the same with Shell? Impala really starting to play that range game, finding a lot of unanswered damage against Sandstorm. We've seen Impala have games where he's bow focused, games where he's spear focused, and games where he splits them right down the middle. Punish? That is going to be an easy punish for Sandstorm in the side lights there, making sure he finishes that stock up. But he's at a solid damage deficit here as Impala spawning in fresh. Yeah, you were talking about that range advantage. Nice option there from Sandstorm. I believe that was the uh, down light where he held down, so he ended up going grounded. the wall now a lot of range but between these oh. two players that down sig dude impala has been using that so well kaya players are loving that one well or maybe they're hating it because they're like oh no it's gonna it's get gonna nerfed, get nerfed. <laughs> but i mean even impala himself said after the nerf post bcx he was like yeah it's not unreactable it's still a pretty darn good signature when I, what was it? it was the neutral sig that got nerfed right i think so yeah because he did a lot yeah the neutral signature but now it's all about that bow down sig. But he's got the spear in hand. And yet he's still playing that range game. Sandstorm finding really good Ooh. damage. He's like putting out twice as much as he takes, which might even out towards the end right. because Impala has twice the stocks that Sandstorm does. But he's running out of room to work with. He's taking a lot of damage. Here comes those bow down sigs. You can see Sandstorm giving a lot of respect to it. Hits the neutral or hits the side air. Down to gonna bounce and it's gonna KO. He's gonna stick with the boots for sure. Even on stage, that is going to lead to the KO. Sandstorm, maybe Oof. about 130 damage behind. Now got 140, 150, 160, 170 behind. Oh. Nice down air. Could he finish oh. this one up? Nice bonk on the head. Easy cleanup for Impala and he takes game one almost to JV2. Showing that BCX was not a fluke. He is a competitor. The offline environment is easier for him. That's a direct quote and it's proving true. I don't know, I think he's lying. I think he just flexed it on that one. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, dude. He levels up in person. He needs an audience to, to perform. Except he wanted to play off stream <laughs> and request to play off stream so he can't have eyes on him. But here, he don't get that option. And it, it I mean, it seems like it doesn't matter. Like, why why does he have that preference? Because if we look at what he's doing right here. There's the Mordex. There's the Fenrir Mordex. I was hoping for that quick swap after the Tesca was just not working. Opening this one up with some solid unarmed damage, immediately picking up the gauntlets into that turnaround down here. Okay, side air puts Impala off stage, but the neutral air gets him to the wall safely. Down sick thrown out. Goes for another one. Not sure how effective these will be against Impala. Especially if Impala wants to play the range game using the range that he has on both weapons when he chooses Kaya. Nice turnaround neutral air. Following up after the neutral light. Down sick, active input, swings back. No dare. He was able to get back on oh! and pick up the weapon. I thought Sandstorm was going to be enough behind him that he wasn't going to get hit by that. Oh, what is he going for? What was he cooking? I think he was maybe expecting that to bonk on the head of Impala if he tried to jump and he gets knocked back down into the D-Light. Okay. Well, ultimately, he still did get the KO with the gauntlets. Now it's back to the side, but the Pogo evens it up. 
This Fenrir Mordex is faring reasonably well so far. Sandstorm is down 0-1, but now he technically does have the lead. Going to even that up with the recovery that came out from Impala. Again, a lot of space put between them. Ow. Trying to hit the jump side air. Back-to-back -back in lights. Puts him off stage. Goes in with the recovery. Trading damage out. Doesn't get the follow-up off the downlight, but the weapon toss keeps him safe. Down Zig again, throwing Impala back. And we really saw Sandstorm not using as much of the active oh. input. Oh! Not using as much of the active input on that down sig in his previous set against Kaina. He was really just doing it in the same direction. Meanwhile, here, it seems to be he's always positioned where he wants to turn it around and send towards the blast zone the other way. But the recovery. No gauntlet down sig this time. It's the end sig. Impala with the punish. Keeping this one close. Coming back over to the spear. Oh. Nice side air. Sending Sandstorm off screen. Oh. Gonna go in with the big ground pound and the weapon toss. The side That's air serious. coming through. Not far enough. Impala was very confident that he wasn't gonna be able to make it. I thought it was gonna be close, but again, it's these players knowing things, just inherently being able to judge movement and damage and spacing all in a high pressure situation like we have here. But Impala gets taken down by Sandstorm. Scythe recovery. Final stocks here in game number two. You know Sandstorm wants to take this one. Getting a reverse three on someone who just 3 0 you is so stinking hard to do. Both of these players extremely even coming in on final stocks. Both of them in the yellow. That neutral light just barely missing. Both of them are kind of poking, oh, but that was a Sandstorm dodge. finding a lot of unanswered damage. The weapon toss just a little bit more. Any Scythe ground pound coming out. It's going to be high. He's back on stage, though. Good spot dodge over the bow down light. I'm Impala. waiting for the D-Sig. I'm waiting oh. for the D-Sig. The Sair, he's disarmed. He can't go for it. But the weapon spawn. Sandstorm denies it. Impala unarmed right now. Sandstorm misses the dare. Impala goes in for the Haymaker. There's the D-Light into oh. the recovery. Not enough. Low strength of Kaya. Oh. Tried to find another Didn't one. Attack. Neutral light knocking a KO. Not even off screen. Is he going to go for the dunk? Oh, he's going to go over the side air, over the corner. What a bold move. Impala called it out immediately with the GCD light. Didn't just find a single punish. He found the punish to get the KO, setting up into his bread and butter. He felt good after that one, too. Impala is such a stoic player, but he saw that gravity cancel down light recovery, and he was smiling as he hit it. Impala up 2-0 over Sandstorm. Can Sandstorm do the reverse? First weapon goes to Impala. He finished that last game up with that spear in his hand. If we get a 3-0 here in Grand Finals, I know production's going to be happy. I know Jabaley's going to be happy. <laughs> Honestly, the way Impala's playing here, I might be a little bit happy as well. He's putting on a show for us. He's just looking so clean. Impala comes down. There's that bow down sig. Weapon toss does not connect. Sandstorm with the scythe in hand, but he's taken so much damage already. Impala has a gigantic lead. Has Sandstorm oh. with KO damage. That down air is going to set up. Ooh. Will bounce pass to himself. Another down air. Is he going to set up for another one? Playing this one high. Playing this one careful. Sends that the side beats. air over to the left side. Getting a little oh. bit swifty with it. There's the down signature that he slide charged God. over the edge. I mean, he's got to be feeling nothing but confident right now. Yeah, I mean, he's already got a two-game lead. He's already got that stock advantage quite handedly. Impala, he's just running away with it, looking like a repeat of that winner's final. There's that neutral light. You can see each hit. Sandstorm's okay. getting big hits, and he gets the stock. Is, Is Impala going to be able to get back? No, not even close. And we are back to even. Just a little bit of damage on Sandstorm's second stock. Impala's going to be looking for a weapon. He's able to grab it very quickly. Sandstorm didn't try to guard it too much. He even actually gave Impala quite a bit of room. Impala, he's got that spear in hand. It hasn't been his critical weapon. Generally, it's all about that bow. Still stuck on the corner. There's that GC down light. Recovery chasing high. Really no threat of actually getting the KO there because Sandstorm's still in the yellow. Impala's just a little bit behind in terms of damage. Oh, he's going real low. Impala gets back up. That recovery helps him out. It's good damage, but if Sandstorm doesn't get this KO, it will not matter. There's the neutral light. Man, you really see the difference in old neutral light versus new gauntlet neutral light Sarah, with how far those are sending. Sare, the weapon toss goes a little oh. bit too far to the left. He must have done oh. that the wrong direction. That gives Impala the lead. He takes it back from Sandstorm here in game three. Sandstorm had such a damage lead, but he didn't get the stock. Impala one stock away from being the San Diego champion, but Sandstorm's gonna make him work for it.
He's going to be spawning back in at the exact same position that Sandstorm is right now, except he will be at the weapon disadvantage until Sandstorm moved off stage, giving Impala the room he needed to pick up the bow. Jump for jump. Impala hits a neutral and he hits the neutral air. Starting to get more taps. Neutral air, neutral air. Impala controlling the ground so much, but now oh, they swap oh. places. Sandstorm has Impala in the orange. There's the side air. He's running out There's of movement. Oh, oh my gosh! Is that it? That's got to be it. Sandstorm takes game number three. He'll hold on just narrowly to get us to game four. That was so close. Virtually no reaction from Impala whatsoever. Even though it looks like Sandstorm is talking to Impala, he's actually facing the other direction, probably talking to the stage production right now. Impala really having to think here. That's going to interrupt some of the momentum on his side. We've seen, though, in the past, in grand finals, we have players going up 2-0, losing game three, and then coming back, showing game four more dominant than ever, why it should have been a 3-0 in the first place. And now we're seeing a map swap. We're going to Apocalypse, that soft platform. Maybe another place that Impala can return to, because the edge guards of Sandstorm, what took him game number three. But oh, this Impala. is huge. This is gigantic. Oh, wait, no turnaround. Is he still going to go in? No, he backs up. He hit that dare. He didn't want to go in too hard. He's at the weapon disadvantage. Sandstorm had the scythe in his hands. We have a soft platform here. That's going to shake things up quite a bit because either Ooh. player can choose to move on to that soft platform because we've had moments where Impala is controlling the ground and Sandstorm can't land. We've had other way around as well where Sandstorm controls the main platform and Impala can't land. Now we introduce that soft platform and even though Impala has a massive lead, we're just like one dunk away, especially since Impala is in the orange. The question is if he can get the dunk. Sandstorm playing from behind again. He needs another big edge guard onto Impala. Over to the scythe. Impala gets back up. He's so good at sneaking over those corners. Both players kind of jockeying back and forth, playing that footsie game. Looking for their single hit. Sandstorm hoping to finish up this stock quickly. Uses the strong okay. D light there. Impala's first stock taken away. About a minute and 26 into this game. Sandstorm in the orange on his second stock. Free weapon for Impala after hitting the unarmed neutral air. The audience here rooting for Sandstorm. They want that game five. They want Jabali to be upset that we're still here. And Impala gets caught out by the scythe of Sandstorm. Neutralite into the neutral air, turning that one around, sending Impala over onto the edge, playing so oh. far back from the corner. Got a little bit too close there, trying to poke out with that D-Light. Ended up getting oh. punished for it, just barely getting through that down air from Impala. Soft platform helps him oh. out. The dodge down, but it's just in there. Impala, hit, he misses the N6 Sandstorm with the spot dodge. Down light, launches him. It's going to KO Sandstorm. Can he get this to game five? He's deep red. Where's the next weapon spawn coming in? It's the middle of the stage. Impala's able to grab it. D-Light into the recovery. Had so much damage on that second stock that he evens it up so quickly. Next weapon spawn coming in. He's going to stay on the bow. He did juggle those weapons to delay the next spawn. It's coming into the right side. You see him trying to pressure that string to keep Sandstorm away from the weapon, but he's able to grab it in time. It's Gauntlets. Last stocks here. The difference being a game five or a championship title. Nair into the end light. Sandstorm's getting some damage. Another end light. Keeping the pressure. Impala stuck on the wall over to the scythe. Gravity cancel down light gets him back up. The juggles. He doesn't choose to go over onto that soft platform. He went to the left side of the stage and landed right on it. Impala getting a lot of unanswered damage here, especially after that whiff down air. Recovery from Impala gets him back up. He's getting the damage put out onto Sandstorm. There's this the, side is the down light. These side lights coming out from Sandstorm. Both players last stock red here. Ooh, the side air. He was getting close there. Got the wall touch. He's disarmed. Sandstorm has the corner. He has the side air. Sandstorm takes it to game five. This is that clutch factor. Sandstorm is Lego. That's the reason when you ask any Brawlhalla player from any timeline who their Mount Rushmore is, if they don't put Sandstorm on there, I'm telling you, they're just objectively wrong. And I don't even think anyone would be so much of a contrarian to do that, because everyone is putting Sandstorm on that big, shiny mountain. Well, look at the damage difference. 
51 in favor of Impala. Sandstorm needed to steal those stocks out time and time again. When it comes to the corner guards, Sandstorm is getting those Ws, but how often can he continue that? It's working so far. Look at the damage difference between his two weapons. Over three times as much damage on his scythe Game as five. he put out on his gauntlets. That's why wow. if Sandstorm slides into your DMs and says scythe forever, that's how you know it's him. Here we go. Game five. Can Impala close this one out, or will we get the reset for another best of five? Oh. Sandstorm was staying grounded when Impala threw out that neutral life, but they weren't stacked, so he didn't find a connection on it. Impala has just a little bit of a lead here, has Sandstorm in the orange. Ooh, caught the dash through with the end light. Impala's getting juggled here. GCN light hits the dare, hits oh! the ground pound. Sandstorm with the lead. That's a classic right there. Bouncing off the wall, then hitting the ground pound for the KO. Sandstorm only at about 100 damage on this. Seems like he already has Impala in the yellow. It seems like it only took two hits. Impala maybe getting a little nervous here. Chain dodging from Sandstorm. Impala waits a little bit after that sidelight. It's so wild that we saw oh. the Tesca come out and it got shut down so promptly. And then all of a sudden we see the Fenrir Mordex oh. and Impala's having so much trouble. So a few SIGs thrown out from Impala. It's going to be the recovery off the down line. Impala evens up the stock count. Damage just a little bit in favor of Sandstorm. Going to be looking for the next weapon spawn to come in. There it is. I think he picked up a scythe here, and that's the reason that he didn't really go too hard for that weapon spawn towards the end of last stock, because he didn't want his next weapon spawn if he picked it up once he respawned and got taken out to be the gauntlets. He wants to stick on this scythe. Yeah, it's definitely been all about this scythe. Throws the dare into the wall there. Doesn't go for that ground pound that time. Hits the down light to catch the landing. Another down light. Sandstorm one stock away from the reset. He all of a sudden has a gigantic lead. It seemed like he was on orange, and then he just kept being on orange, and he's still second stock orange as Impala is fighting back at the weapon disadvantage. Ooh, the spot dodge. Not afraid of a haymaker to the face. Impala with the bow in hand. Gets the juggle. Can he get the stock? Weapon spawn coming in. There's the gauntlets. Needs another. Even if he gets knocked out here, that means next time he spawns back in, that next weapon is going to be a sight that's going to be his weapon of choice. And Paul is going to do everything he can to strip the field, delay that weapon spawn. So Sandstorm plays the weapon disadvantage. That neutral air sends Apollo to the left, easily goes over to the right, grabs the spawn. Last stocks, game five. Impala with the stage control. He's got his comfort bow. Sandstorm catches the landing, but Impala gets back up. Impala's done a great job evening this up here. He's putting out a lot of damage on a Sandstorm here. It's getting close to where Sandstorm might have to start thinking about worrying about being disarmed if he takes too much more damage. Dude, the inlight into the recovery. Sandstorm oh. is so good at it. Yo, but Impala with the recoveries. Down Sig! Sandstorm, does he have the movement? He'll get to the wall safely, but he has no weapon. He got disarmed. Impala with the weapon control. He has just a little bit of a lead here. The bow is in his hands. Down He's backing Sig. up, looking for the D-Sig. Neutral light, not going to send over. Sandstorm, at least right now, is going to have to do this one with the oh. gauntlet. Just barely missing that gauntlet side air. There's a weapon spawn in the field, swapping back over to the scythe. Down, side sig, throw it out. It doesn't KO. With the spear, Sandstorm's got one more opportunity. The side air slaps him away. Oh, he tried to get the unarmed recovery, but out came the dodge. Oh, oh just barely. The fact that Impala did the side stick, giving him movement to get away. Downlight misses. Who's going to get the hit? Downlight. Yeah, Impala takes it in game five. He's going to be your dream hack. San Diego champion. He went for the downlight Nair, and now I feel like we see a sh like a weird official passing of the torch that we didn't get. We didn't get that closure on the Sandstorm arc as we move into now what we have.